I've been polishing this mirror for a few weeks. And now that it's all polished out, I need to check its shape. To do this, I need to build a device known as a Foucault tester. Although it may look crude, this is actually an extremely sensitive contraption that can measure inaccuracies in the mirror down to 10 thousandths of a centimeter. I found many places on the internet with plans to build a tester, but the best ones were on the Stellophane website. I didn't copy theirs exactly, but I took many pointers from their design. I'll save how the tester works for another video. But basically, we need to make something that holds a razor blade that'll cut a ray of reflected light from an LED. The razor and LED have to move in small amounts on the X, Y and Z axis. I'm going to make the tester in three steps, a base, stage and a head. First beginning with the base. Because we need the knife edge to move left and right, backwards and forwards and up and down, the base is there just to control one axis. First, I cut a square piece of wood, about 20 centimeters on each end. A pipe works well as a slider for forwards and backwards movement, as well as letting the upper stage pivot on for up and down and left and right motion. I found this PVC pipe in a dustbin nearby our house. Cut the pipe short of length and attach it to the board we just cut. Then cut and attach another piece of wood to the front of the base. I then glued a nut for a threaded bolt to screw in. This bolt will be used to push the stage later. And that's it for the base. It should look something like this. Now we need to build the stage. The stage is just a piece of wood to hold the head. We need a rail that'll slide along the pipe that you've already installed using a bolt to adjust the height. So I cut a piece of board smaller than the base and I used a router to cut a thin strip out the plywood. Then I glued a nut on top of the board on the opposite side and threaded a bolt through to act as a height adjuster for the stage. I used some glass that I had lined around to make a flatter surface. The head is where the electrics are housed. The base and stage are just to get the head in the right position. To make the head I used a thin piece of board with a rectangular hole cut to house a razor blade and then drilled a hole for an LED to fit in. I scavenged the LED and batteries from one of those cheap flashlights. Once it's all soldered together and a makeshift switch is made, voila, we have light. All that's left to do now is attach some elastic bands to give some resistance and to pull the stage back whenever I unscrew the bolts. And that's it, a very basic and crude but functional focal tester. In a later video, I'll learn how to use it.